Morning YouTube. I know I look terrible. I just woke up. I didn't even brush my teeth and wash my face. But I'm still in Cleveland. I'm over um, Eric's house. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I just woke up. Um, we had a long day yesterday. We were out all day leveling up. Went to a lot of good places. Uh, I'm going to make a... Um, when I get back to Columbus, I'm going to make a um, little reel a highlight reel of those uh, like a couple scenes so it's gonna be real short i'm gonna do that when i get back home and put that up probably tomorrow so or sometime this week um yeah i'm gonna make this video I'm not, like i said today is sunday um we're we gonna announce a new uh guest language for next week um this was just croatian <clears throat> we had a good day yesterday um, was able to practice Croatian with a neighbor, with his neighbor, his neighbor from, his neighbors there from Sylvania. And, um, I was able to practice with the guy. He was kind of hard of hearing. So I had to, uh, it was like a little bit difficult, but he was still able to hear me in some places. Um, so yeah, Cleveland is a good place. Like it's, it's not like Columbus. It's not as diverse. I mean, it's, it's a lot of diversity here it's a lot of there's a lot of chinese you got to go to certain parts of town they're like pockets um you can't go to like a, a random walmart like columbus and just get all kind of stuff in it ain't like that here but what i will say is it is really good for slavic languages they have a lot of stuff here russians ukrainian and hun oh my god not hun hungarian i know hungarian is a slavic language um croatian like they are all over there are pockets you got to go to certain parts of town to get them but it's a lot here so when i when i do um the guest language if it's a slavic language i'm gonna definitely trying to make a trip up here uh, if i can get if i get up here to cleveland um to level up because i mean there there's some slavic people in columbus but it's not it's not as good it's not as good as here it's crazy here um so yeah that was yesterday um it was oh yeah i want to talk a little bit about like some of the funny scenes we went to we went we were in this cell phone place and this chinese guy came in with his um little look like his grandson because he, he was older and um it was air bone so i was in there trying to level up an airy and he had came in and when i saw him i was like oh man it's over like they brought him to me you know that was china was that chinatown we was in china. yeah that was chinatown so i was like oh they brought him to me god brought him to me so he came in so i started i started talking to the little um little boy first i greeted him and then the guy was like oh he, he doesn't understand yet and you know i got kids i know like you know about all that but i was trying to start up the conversation but um yeah, I was talking to him, and then like I talked to him for a little bit, and he was from he was from Guangdong or Hong Kong, so he spoke Cantonese. But I was speaking mainly, I was speaking Mandarin, a lot more Mandarin with him. And then he had asked me, he was like, "Yeah," he was like, "Do they sell?" Like I didn't know what the Chinese word. I learned a new word in Chinese today. Um, he was asking me like if they sold something there. I didn't know what it was he was talking about. I didn't know the word. And then um, he was explaining. He's like, "Yeah, in Chinese we call it." And he was when he was explaining it, then it was getting more clear to me. I was like, "Oh, I was like, um, I like you talking about that thing that you guys that that that, that you used to um, look at the, um, the, the the stars in the sky." He said, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah." I was like, "Oh, a telescope." I didn't know that in Chinese. I mean, I think I learned it a long time ago. But telescope, come on, man! I, I don't talk about telescopes in Chinese very often, so I forgot the word. So he he had came to the he had came to that cell phone place. He thought they sold they sold telescopes there. <laughs> I don't even know why I asked him. It was funny. It was silly. I was like, you guys sell telescopes. <laughs> but um anyway, um that was funny. And then it was another scene when I was in a grocery, we went to this grocery store. What was that called? Um Dave's or Buster's or something like that. What was that name? What was the name of that that Dave's. Dave's. Yeah, and um 
didn't think we were gonna level up in there. And it was um we I would, Eric saw him first. He's like, Yeah, let's stand in this line. He's like, get the, get the, get it in this line. He's like, let's buy a couple candy bars. And then um the guys, they look Chinese at me, so I was talking to them, and the guy was so shocked um when I was speaking to him. But he was trying to use his credit card and I was talking to him and he seemed to have a problem. The lady was telling him he couldn't use it and he you could tell that he couldn't under, really understand English that well. So he didn't understand what was going on. And, you know, I was just sitting there and the lady looked at me. She's like, sir, she's like, could you tell him? She's like, could you tell him that I need to go uh, change? <laughs> she's like, she's like, could you tell him? I'm like, what, am, what do I look like? I'm your translator. Y'all gonna put, y'all gonna put me on the clock real quick? Nah, but it, it was fun. It was funny. Uh, Eric, Eric was laughing. It, it was real funny. But I had a great time here. I had a good day yesterday. Um, we got, let's see, got man, got some Mandarin, Cantonese, Korean, no Japanese. Um, I didn't expect to get that many Asian languages in Cambodian, Vietnamese. Oh yeah. I was looking at my foot. I'm, I, I got to go through my footage again, but it looks like I lost, um, the last part. It was a, when I was talking to a Vietnamese lady and a guy, that was a good part. Um, I don't know what happened. I think I don't know if my battery lost power or what, but I got to go through my my files and, and to see if it's on there. But I was checking yesterday and I didn't see it last night. I mean, but yeah, let's get to this new guest language. <clears throat> um, so our new guest language for this week coming up will be Polish. I did a little bit of Polish before. Um, I did some reading videos. I didn't really sit down and study it. However, I did study Czech for like five or six months. No, I don't remember Czech. I totally forgot Czech. I remember some stuff, but my conversation skills are gone. They down the drain. I haven't spoken Czech for a long time. But that that was close, like very similar to Polish. So that's what I've done in the past in, in terms of what was similar to that language so polish i'm going to do polish uh starting tomorrow do what i normally do start my um little flr stuff get that stuff um lined up i'm gonna spend a week and i won't be going out in the next week um this next weekend coming up i won't go out since i'm going out every other week it'll be the weekend after so i'm gonna I'm look for some places in columbus where i can practice polish um I almost thought I came up to Cleveland the wrong weekend. I was like, maybe I should have waited. Because they got a lot of Polish places up here. It's crazy up here. But I, I, I'm sure I'll be able to. Um, oh, I found one place already in Columbus. One spot. I'm going to see if I can find some other spots. And, um, yeah. So, um, if this is your first time to the channel, you wonder what I'm doing with these guest languages or with these new languages that you see me doing every week. It's basically... Um, it's a um it's just something that I spice up my channel with. I I made a lot of videos and I just I like to when I come up with new ideas, I try to apply them and try to entertain my followers. Um I know they like to level up videos. Um they like watching those. I try to make some more content on this channel. So I'm always open to suggestions though if you guys have any uh, like advice. But um yeah, I'm going to be doing Polish I'm starting this week, so I got two weeks to get my stuff together, to get my ish together, so to speak, <laughs> to get my ish together. Two weeks. So I'm going to make my Croatian spoken video when I get back home. I'm not going to do it here. Um, I was going to do it yesterday, but I was like, you know, I'm going to wait until I get back to Columbus. Um, I got some good conversations in, um, in Croatian. It was great. And um, yeah. So, yeah, like I said, if you're new to the channel, that's what I'm doing. And um, I'm not really studying these languages intentionally. Like, they're just languages that I guess you could say I'm dabbling in, I'm learning. Well, dabble, I don't know if I could use the word dabble because I'm actually learning how to speak the language. Like, I can, I'm, I'm getting to a point where I can converse in a language, but I'm not studying to fluency right now. Now, for, for languages, like, if you want to see me study a particular language, like language that I've been studying to fluency, like follow the language that I choose to work on for the whole year. Like the one that I'm doing now is Swedish. I've been doing that for almost, yeah, it's been 10 months. 
and um, I'm about to do Finnish next year for the whole year 2016. Now those languages, I'm studying the fluency, but the language, the guest languages, um, they're not. I'm not doing that. Doing that with those, um, it's hard to uh, do more than one language like that, like very intensively. It's really hard. So my my, I, I got more focus. I put more time into Swedish. I've been doing that since the since the beginning of this year. But yeah, let me conclude this video. Ten minutes. I didn't expect it to be that long. Um, I'm gonna be here for like another hour or two, and I'm gonna get on the road, head back to Columbus, get back to the family, get back to the girls, my gals. So that is it for this video. Um, thanks for viewing. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Do you have any words, uh, Mr. Tolliver? No, sir. Yeah, you. No. All right. Thanks for viewing, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys um, soon.